guess, I mean, first just what a like weird couple of years. Yeah. You know what I mean? We've kind of been following the ups and downs and everything you've been through. I guess, I mean, as you stand here today, what, what, how would you describe the last couple of years for yourself? frustrating you know um it, w it was pretty frustrating you know coming out of like an extreme lockdown like almost signing a fight just before lockdown getting locked down getting a fight getting a cancel getting another fight getting a cancel and it's just like super frustrated man but you know like everything happens for a reason and i feel like i'm i'm in this promotion for for a reason you know and i, I i'm super happy to be here i'm super proud to be here and, and be the, the only african to be here you know and i, I you know I'm, I'm trying to represent my country and my continent a positive way of looking at it. I guess yeah. during that time, it was easy to be like, well, everything happens for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I was like, dude, <laughs> fuck this shit. <laughs> uh, all right, listen, you, so you do get to fight for the PFL. I mean, immediately you're like, okay, this is home, this is perfect, like I'm, like, I'm good now, or was it still like, ah, uh, we'll see how things are, you know, things are going to go? Uh, you know, like with anything, it's always like school fees you have to pay, you know, like you get in there, you like, you don't really know your place, you're meeting everyone for the first time, and, uh, you know, but the, the, the first fight went perfectly and my first experience, other than me getting like horribly, horribly food poisoned, um, it was perfect. You know, I had a great experience. Everyone here is super accommodating, super friendly, uh, helpful. Um, yeah, fit and fit like a glove. Now we're here ready to start the season. I just wonder how exciting that must be for you, right? Because given the way things have been for you, to know that I can look on a calendar like, I'm going to fight them, I'm going to fight them. I mean, like, is it, is it like ideal for you? That is like literally the perfect scenario, you know? That's like all I've been wanting, like, w with, with, with all my fight, fight career. Like, just, guys, give me like a year and just tell me like which dates I can book and then I can plan my life around, you know? And like now I can do that. And that's amazing because I'm, I'm a father now as well. I've got a wife, you know, like, Having a family and like being so unpredictable about when you have to travel, when you're going to be away, when you're going to be cutting weight, fight camp, all that stuff, you know. Now at least I can like plan my life and we don't have to like be halted waiting for like, when's daddy going to get a fight, you know. Like we, we know now already, so it's, it's amazing. Season's getting started, I guess, when you look at the field, you know I could be fighting anybody, right? But the first matchup, I mean, yeah. are you like, what the hell's happening? Or you're like, <laughs> yeah, let's start with the top. I mean, what was your, what was your idea when that came at the matchup? To be honest, like, I was talking to my manager and he was like, who would you like to fight first? And I was like, I'd like to fight the champion first, please, because um, he's already done it. He's already climbed the mountain, he's already done it. You beat that guy, you're already, at a he you're already ahead of the rest of the, the roster. So... Um, you know, that, that, was, that was my thinking with this, and I, I, I do believe that I have the style to beat him, and I have the style to stop him. He's never been finished, and I believe I will finish him. So what's the goal here, right? I mean, because you come in and you beat the champion, it's awesome, right? But that doesn't make you the champion. No. you got a long way to go. So, I mean, is it like, hey, we got to come in and do something special? Or is it like, let's just get a win and build? What, what, what's the plan? Well, like, even after my last fight, I didn't really celebrate much because I was like, well, you, didn't, you, didn't, you haven't won. You know, that, that was just your entry into, the, you've just taken one step forward, you know. And even after this, you know, even beating Haush and, and beating the champ, I won't even be, you, you won't even see me partying or anything. I'm going to go straight to bed, get back on my flight, go back, start training and, and look for the next one. I love it. I guess last thing for me, I mean, when you play this thing out in your head, as you said, I mean, he's a tough guy, right? But not been finished. I mean, do you, like, you're, you feel confident that you can go do it? Or are you like, hey, man, this might be a back and forth kind of battle? What kind of fight do you think you see? No, look, uh, he's, he's super tough. And um, he, like I said, he's the champ for a reason. And he's done it for a reason. He's gotten through four tough guys. Um, and like I said, he's never been finished. But he hasn't fought a finisher like me. You know, I have a 90% finish rate. I finish everybody, whether it's on the feet, on the ground. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to finish him. And I, I do believe I'll stop him within 15 minutes. I think so. Yeah. I think you got to see a little bit of a little bit of everything. I, as soon as I finished the fight, I went to my coach and I was like, "Oh, but I wanted to do this and I wanted to do this." And I was like, "So much more I wanted to do um, and showcase." But obviously, you know, you, you just play in as the fight goes. Uh, but I do, I do believe I showed quite a lot of my skill sets. You know, the, on the feet, on the ground. Um, I wish, just wish I had a little bit more energy to to do more. You know, I was I was I was kind of like holding back a bit so that I didn't gas out because of being sick. But other than that, uh, yeah, I thought it was a pretty good performance. Where did Magic Man come from? <laughs> um, by, by luck. So I, I was having a fight in Thailand and uh, someone that I knew from South Africa was in the crowd. And uh, after the fight, she came to me and she was like, that was such a good fight, you should be Magic Madge. So I was like, that sounds pretty good. So I came back to South Africa and I was fighting for a, a South African uh, K1 title. And um, I wrote down my name, Don Magic Madge. And then Nansa, of course, got it wrong. 
<laughs> and he calls me out. He was like, the magic man. And I was like, okay, well, I guess that's going to stick now. <laughs> and so ever since then, it's just kind of stuck. And it has like a cool ring to it. So I'm like, you know, you don't get to pick your nicknames, right? <laughs> Well, you know, like I was saying before that I'm, I'm the only South African and African to be on the card, you know, and, and I f before that I was uh, the only South African to have a successful uh, debut in, in, in another organization, in my previous organization. So, you know, I feel like I'm paving the way for, for the, next, the next generation. I'm second, third generation uh, for, for mixed martial arts in South Africa, and I believe the fourth and fifth generation, they get... You know, they've got like the footsteps, they've got like the path to go to now. And I'm, I'm just trying to bring, bring that back to my country. Last for me, South Africa is also known for being the world's largest producer of academia nuts. I'm curious, Don, do you have Did not know that. <laughs> um, <laughs> damn, I didn't know that. <laughs> I'm more of a pistachio man, but uh, I, li I like macadamia nuts too. My, my wife's Italian, so, you know, pistachios and stuff, we, 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 yeah, we go for that. <laughs> Best luck, Jack. Thank you. Absolutely, you know, I, I, I welcome the pressure, you know, I, I, I want the pressure that I, I honestly believe I perform best when I have like everything riding on it, you know, and I, that's why I was like, you know, I want, I want this guy first and I want to be the guy to do it. I want to, I want to prove everyone wrong. I want to be the underdog and I want to come and do it for, for everyone else that's watch, watching me and looking up to me. For those that don't know you, do you feel like you have to um, make a statement in your fight against the champ? Um, you know, I think... Beating a guy who's already won it is a statement in itself, um, especially in your first first fight of the of the season, to come out and, and beat the champ and finish the champ like I'm planning on doing, and being the first guy to finish him, um, you know I think that'll be a statement within itself.